Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are gonna drive TM1637 with STM32. TM1637 has 4 pins, VCC ground, data input, output, and clock. The VCC goes to 5 volts, ground to ground, data input to B3 of STM32 and the clock pin goes to B4. Now we are going to create Cube IDE project to start programming. After creating a project, we are going to make our configurations in debug, select serial wire, and we are going to make the rest of the configuration in TM1637 library. Save this project. And now we are going to add TM1637 library files to our project. Download the library and go to the project folder, add .c file, core source folder, and add header file. To the include folder. We are done with adding TM1637 library file to our project and now we are going to build our project and we are gonna fix the errors in .c file we are going to change the header file name from stm32l to stm32f and the definition of GPIO speed frequency. We are going to modify the pins that are connected to the clock and the I.O. according to this schematic. The B3 is connected to the I.O. and B4 is connected to clock. Now we are going to modify this. GPIO, GPIO B, clock was connected to pin 4 and DIO to pin 3. Save this file and build. Now you see that we have 0 errors, 0 warnings, and we are going to jump to our main file and we are going to add the functions of tm1637 copy this piece of code and paste it here this guy is gonna initialize our module and this is going to set the brightness and the last function is the function to show numbers on 7 segments with or without column. Let's build and program the board. As you see 1, 2, 3, 4 plus column has been showed on the 7 segment module and we are gonna switch the column from 1 to 0 to check the output now the column is gonna disappear now we disappeared the column now we are gonna change the brightness let's say 1 as you see the brightness of the 7 segment has been decreased now we are gonna set to the maximum value and check the results this is the maximum value of 7 segments. Now we are going to create a counter with for loop. For int i close to 0, i less than 9999, and i++. And 
count from 0 to 9999. Thanks for watching this video guys, please don't forget to like, share and comment below. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.